In San Antonio, the East Central ISD expected to double in students in 2030, so they're trying to prepare, and they will be depending on the passage of a $240 million bond in the November election. Max Massey spoke with the East Central ISD superintendent and explains what's in that bond and what it means for taxpayers. Lots of opportunity, lots of growth, lots of change, lots of diversity, um, lots of excitement. Roland Toscano is not only the superintendent for schools for East Central ISD, but he's also a graduate of East Central High School. Toscano has seen the district grow over the years. and He's preparing for the future growth. In addition to that, we want to make sure that we upgrade safety and security measures across all of our schools. Um, as well as ensure comfort of comparability of our facilities, our age facilities. We want to make sure as we build new facilities that we don't leave those behind. If voters pass the bond in November, the $240 million will be used for a number of initiatives. In building new schools, creating a CTE multi-purpose facility and shop, this is an effort to help students on more career paths. The money would also be used to make big upgrades to existing facilities. You've got to make some um, dramatic improvements in investments in, in academic support, uh, an acceleration, um, resourcing for our teachers, staffing to support the, the, the expanded needs of our students. If the bond is approved by voters in the November 8th election, the estimated tax impact would be about six cents per $100,000 of property value or about five to six dollars a month. The tax increase would not be felt until 2024 and wouldn't be felt at all if you have the applied over 65 homestead exemption. As for Toscano in the district, the future is bright. You know, we're excited about what's to come and we're excited uh, to serve this community in the future. If you have any questions about the bond or the election, we have all those answers right now. Just head to KSAT.com. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.